It's the first time the Nigerian government is seeking to raise money through an Islamic secret bond. With a budget deficit of over $7 billion, Nigeria needs to borrow to fund its 2017 budget, 30% of which is dedicated to capital projects like roads, power and transport infrastructure. Much of the borrowing is expected to be domestic and that is where the $328 million Sukuk bond comes in. The bond is going to perform very well because the bond itself is an Islamic bond. And we know that the Islamic bond has to do with ethical investment. That is, the money realized from this bond is going to be used for investment that are ethical and properly monitored. The Nigerian government is testing the waters with the issuance of the Sukuk bond. Only one state in the country has tried the idea before, and it was successful. If this sovereign bond also proves successful, more are likely to follow. Even if the amount is not fully subscribed because of the palace economic environment, I want to believe that subsequent, subsequent offers will be subscribed. Going forward, we should see series of such offers based on market situation, the market conditions. But for me, the most attractive thing is that you have you are coming up with an ethical fund that meets the fate, believe, the fate of about 50 million Nigerians. And you are no longer going to exclude them from the capital market. Now, investment experts have dismissed fears that the issuance could exclude private sector borrowers, arguing that the Sukuk bond is not an interest-bearing instrument. The government is targeting retail and institutional investors in the bond offer. Deji Badmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.